Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tea with B&D. I'm your host Laura and each week we discuss topics related to heavy industry, heavy manufacturing and my personal favorite pairings of tasty teas and delectable delights. So grab yourself something warm and toasty because it's tea time baby. This week's tea of the week I decided to choose a lemon ginger tea and it is a soothing and comforting infusion of bright lemony citrus and warm spicy ginger. Now our main component in this tea is lemongrass and lemongrass helps with soothing aches and relieving stress. So what is causing me all these aches and stresses? Well, I recently just joined a workout studio and waking up at 5.30 in the morning has never been a favorite pastime of mine. So the only reason why I joined this workout studio is because of my undying love for sweets, which brings me to this week's delectable delight. And y'all, check this out. This is a 12 layer chocolate cake from Cox Cafe right down the street here at our making shop. I mean, they have really good soul food, but check out the craftsmanship on this awesome delectable delight. It's gonna be really hard not to eat this in one sitting. In our previous video, we discussed bearings. Bearings are used in rotating applications in which friction is to be eliminated because friction equals heat, which equals wear, and that's bad. So these are situations where we want to have anti-friction. So I thought it would be cool to expand upon the topic and show you guys some of the capabilities of our gearing and reliability solutions group. Our field service crew was called out for a bearing change at a ball mill application. This is where the emulsify kaolin, which is a type of mineral for commercial products such as paint, coatings, and additives. If you've ever picked up a magazine and felt the glossy pages, that's an example of the kaolin products. As you can see, it takes specialty equipment to remove the ball mill to replace and properly correct the root cause of the bearing failure. The ball mill complete weighs in excess of 50,000 pounds. The bearings that support this assembly has 40 inch inner diameter cylindrical roller bearings. That's huge. If you remember from our previous bearing video, cylindrical roller bearings are utilized due to the high radial load created by weight and the rotating speed of the mill. It's trivia time. Take a look at the gear type that assists with the torque required to rotate this mill fully loaded. Does it look familiar? It's a spur gear. From our previous gearing video, this type of gear is utilized due to the excessive load and relative slow speeds. The width of the teeth of that gear are pretty wide and have a diametrical pitch around 2 dp. The lubrication and proper alignment to the drive pinion is critical in this scenario. This next image is the opposite end called the discharge end of the ball mill. As you can see, there's discoloration in the end bell. This was created from excessive heat resulting in severe distortion, allowing the bearing journal to become out of round. Fortunately, the bearing journal was removable from the end bell. In this picture, you can see that once the bearing journal was unbolted and removed from the end bell, the crew was able to utilize our infield machining capabilities to machine the two mating surfaces to become flat and parallel with each other. When misalignment occurs, the two faces became like twisted and they weren't flat and parallel against each other. Once completed, this resolved the root cause of the failure. All of these connected bolts have to be hydraulically torqued to achieve the proper bolt torque. A bearing consists of a cage that allows the rolling elements to maintain proper spacing to distribute load in the most efficient manner. Check out the rolling elements on this four inch ID diameter. The rolling element is smaller than the size of my pinky y'all. Now take a look at the rolling elements from our 40 inch bearing. The physical size of the cylindrical rolling elements are huge. 
bigger than the size of this tea can. Also, check out the magnitude of that cage. This was a Cooper split style bearing, which means that the bearing is assembled with two parts. This is only one half of the rolling elements. The bearings had to be pre-packed with grease before reassembly. Our field service crew had to pre-lube these components by hand to ensure proper lubrication during startup. It's kind of a messy job, but hey, someone's got to do it. This is the inner ring of the bearing that supports the cylindrical rolling element. In this application, the inner ring of the bearing is split into two halves and bolted together. The tolerance is required between the inner ring and the shaft journal are critical in order to keep and maintain its fit to the shaft. The proper bolt torque has to be achieved in order to properly seat the two halves. In this case, we're looking at what would be considered the held bearing. This next picture shows the outer ring of the bearing and the cartridge that it is affixed to. Remember, cylindrical bearings do not have self-aligning capabilities, meaning they don't handle misalignment very well. The outer housing of the cylindrical split bearing is designed with curves to allow the bearing to compensate for misalignment. This dome design also allows for the bearing to absorb and compensate for thermal growth. On the top of the cartridge is a dowel pin, which keeps the cartridge assembly from rotation within the pillow block bearing. So to sum this case study up, our field service crew changed plain bearings to anti-friction bearings in this particular application. This bearing change was energy efficient and helped with reliability because it takes a lot less power to rotate on anti-friction bearings than it is on plain bearings that have no moving parts. Increased efficiency equals increased reliability, which increased more production. So more tonnage is more money in our customer's pocket. And the energy savings over three years would cover the cost of this upgrade. Our GRS team can handle any bearing, any size, anywhere. Check out our website below to see how we can help you with your reliability today. So that's another episode of Tea with B&D. Thanks for joining. And if you have any suggestions on any delicious combos of teas and desserts, leave some feedback in the comments because I am all about trying new combos. Have a great day. Bye.